Hey, Colts Neck High School, it's Mr. Flood uh, coming back with a little follow-up video to my visit to your school a few weeks ago. Let me guess, none of you remember who I am. No problem. Maybe five of you? Listen, it's okay if you don't remember who I am. I don't care if you remember who I am. I care that you remember something that I said. That's more important. So... I was at your school in November, and today's the day after Thanksgiving, by the way. I'm, I'm, none of you are watching this the day after Thanksgiving, but it's the day I'm making it. So I all ha I hope you all had a, an awesome Thanksgiving. Um, I'm assuming you'll watch this the week after Thanksgiving. I hope so. So I wanted to come back, guys and girls, for, no, for a couple of reasons. Number one is to say thank you for the way that you treated me when I was there. You know, I'm in 100 schools every year, and you all treated me so well. You were respectful of my time. You know, quiet when it was appropriate, laughed when it was appropriate. I spent some time talking to some of you some of you afterwards when I was there, which is always great. That's the thing I love the most is getting a ch chance to chat uh, and know some kids after, you know, after I speak uh, and how I connected with them, how my message connected with them. So thank you for the way that you treated me and you have an awesome school. And the second challenge, the second reason for this video is to remind you of the challenges that I gave you, um, which are simple things that have a profound impact on those around us. Look on the inside of people. Don't judge people by the outsides. Give them a benefit of the doubt. And I know when you do that, they will do that for you too. You be the one going into a, a, a you know, when you look at someone, you be the first one to not judge. And I guarantee they won't judge you also. Second challenge I gave you was to reach out and connect with adults in your building. You know, in your high school career, you're going to need minimum of two trusted adults to go and, you know, to talk to, to share things with, to bounce things off of, to get perspective from. And I guarantee when you do that, guys and girls, that a lot of adults that you say, you know, share a problem with, they're going to say, you know what, me too. You know what, I, that, I struggled with that too. I know how you feel. I felt the same way. This is what I did. This was different situation, different time in their life, but the feelings are the same. And I said this to you, when you share something with us, it helps us too. So connect with two adults and show them respect. And the third challenge I gave you was that no one should have to eat alone. And please apply that wherever you can on a daily basis, in the cafeteria, on the bus, in the hallway, in the classroom, at recess, at phys ed, wherever. Include, include, include. Look for places. Just, just go out of your way to look for places where you can include others. Look on the inside. Thank two adults. No one eats alone. Hope you guys all have awesome holidays coming up, whatever you're celebrating, you know, Christmas, New Year's, and into the new year. Um, hope it's a great end to the year and second half of the school year for all of you. And I hope I get a chance to run into some of you someday um, down in Cold Snack, Freehold, in a Dunkin' Donuts, Starbucks, I don't know, Panera, Taco Bell. Those, those are the places I hang out in. Hope you're all well, guys and girls. Have a great day.